Let's try a new problem now. This one has a negative in front of the x squared. Let's factor out that negative. It's going to help us uh, factor, especially when we're guessing. Let's factor that negative out. So that's going to be uh, x squared. That's going to be negative 8x plus 15. And we can double check. Negative times x squared is negative x squared. Negative times 8x is positive 8x. And negative times positive 15 is negative 15. OK. And we know that we need two binomials to factor this trinomial. This negative will be outside over here. And we also know that we need x here, because x times x will give me x squared. The signs, well, the linear term is negative 8x. And so we take the sign, negative. We take the sign of the linear term, the sign of the constant, and we take the product of those two, negative times a positive is going to be a negative, so two negatives. We take 15, and we think about two factors of 15. That's going to be 3 and 5, and also 15 and 1. And now we take the pair, and we see if it works. 3 and the 5. We know that x times x gives me x squared. x times negative 5 gives me um, negative 5x. And negative 3 times x gives me negative 3x, which gives me negative 8x, which is the middle term. And negative 3 times negative 5 gives me 15. So we're fine. So again, we can write out the answer with three factors, or we can multiply this negative out to one of these factors, and it's going to be negative x plus 3 times x minus 5. Or I'm going to rearrange this, x minus 5, x minus 3, rearrange it and multiply it only to one factor. So negative times x is going to give me negative x plus 5, and then x minus 3. So again, we can have these two answers, or we might have the other one, depending on the instructor. You can also have this answer as well. All three are fine. All right, let's try the next trinomial. This one um, has a special name to it. It's a perfect square trinomial, and you'll see why that's the case. Again, this is a trinomial, and I can factor it with two binomials. I can put an x here, an x here. And because the linear term, the coefficient is a positive, we'll put a positive here, and then Positive times positive gives me a positive. So when you multiply the linear coefficient, um, the sign, and the constant, the sign of the constant, when you multiply those two, it gives you the second binomial sign. So what about the numbers that go in here? Well, the 9, there are two ways of breaking up 9, two factors. And we could use 9 and 1 here. Let's do that. If we try 9 and 1, you'll notice that um, the x squared does work out. The 9 times 1 does work out to be a 9. But um, 9 times x is 9x, and 1 times x, or x times 1, is 1x. And that gives you 10x, which is not the linear coefficient. So. We can try again and use the other factors, which is 3 and 3, 3 and 3. And you'll notice that, again, x times x is x squared, and 3 times 3 is 9. And if we say 3 times x is 3x, and x times 3 is another 3x, that gives you 6x, which is the 
linear coefficient. Now, this one's called a perfect square trinomial because both factors are the same. So, if they're both the same, you can put it as one factor with the square on it. And you'll also notice that on a perfect square trinomial, the constant, which is 9, if you take the square root of 9, it's going to give you 3. It's going to give you the factors that you need for factoring the trinomial.